Lauren Boebert loves to post her else, and we have an example of it. She had a little event, and when I say little event, I mean it was a little event. It was with the Adams County GOP, and she was very happy to meet up with them. She's obviously, you know, in the fight of her life to stay in Congress, and so she posted these photos. And uh, <laughs> we zoom in a little bit. I don't, I don't know that she should have posted the photos. Like, here's the the type of like lefty softy I am. I feel bad for her when I see these. There's no reason why I should feel bad or extend any compassion or empathy to Lauren Boebert. She hates my guts, I'm sure. But I feel so bad. That first one, especially, if we go back to graphic two, I see that. I just think like there's that guy like leaning his arm on another front row chair because nobody's yeah. sitting in any of them. This movie's been out for like six months. Yeah. And I just think she is. A Nash, she's been a national figure on the right for four years now. And she can't fill 30 people, 40 people while like a new, she's gone to a new district. You know, they haven't even gotten to see all of her rallies like her old district has, and they don't want to. They don't want to show up. She is fresh off of a Trump endorsement. Okay. And she can't fill that little room. And that is like I feel bad. I know, you know, Dean Phillips had the same problem. Nobody showed up at one of his events. So I just always feel bad because I always worry if I ever have like a live show, nobody's gonna show up. And that's why I don't generally do it because I'm terrified. But like she is a famous, famous elected official. And that's what she got. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait. Click join now on YouTube. Well, look, I have performed to uh, that size of a crowd. And if you do post a photo from uh, that event, you post it just of you. You're looking great. You got a good, you know, good face. You're making <laughs> a good point. I'm telling a great joke. But you don't do the reverse shot of the audience. Every stand up comic knows this. Sometimes we do crappy shows, small shows, bar shows. Um, we do shows, we're thirsty bitches, um, but you do not zoom out. And Donald Trump knows this too, this is the rule. You don't zoom out and show the whole room, just zoom in. And But you shouldn't not feel bad. She probably disrespected each and every person in that room. And they were like, they are not going to vote for her. Like that's not gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, I know, look, this is, she posted them though. I guess she thinks it's fine or else maybe she's desperate at this point, but it's it's not good news. Good news for her. A uh, new trailer just dropped for the Beetlejuice sequel, so that's something to look forward to. Maybe go first should day, have but anyway, in like she should have done like a vape off or like some sort of like give vape free. She should have partnered with a vape company and then given away free pens that could fill the seats. Yes, that could fill the seats. Yes, but anyway, um, I want to jump past obviously her her troubles politically to. Uh, where she's a little bit more like the other electeds on the Republican side. And this is something that will never stop bothering me. And it is people wanting credit for stuff that they try to stop from happening. It burns my insides when they do this, when they try to be obstacles to people receiving badly needed help. And then they try to like cheer themselves because it got passed over their objections. So she posted, this tweet, you can see this big wins as local communities are receiving over $20 million for water and infrastructure projects. I'm grateful to all the stakeholders who brought these local priorities to my attention and helped ensure my 10 requests were passed into law. She voted against the bill. Now, did she maybe put some amendments into a bill that she intended to try to kill? Sure. But what I love about that is that's not just her doing the thing they always do, where she's like, hey, money. Yay, don't look into my voting record. This is her posing with people who wanted the help. They went to her office to ask for the help. She listened to them, ask for the help, and then she voted against the bill. And she still wants the cred. That is so duplicitous. If I were one of those people, I would be so utterly angry. I'd be happy that I got the funding. You know, I'd be happy to the many Democrats who supported the bill and Biden who signed the bill. Um, but I would be so angry at people like Lauren Boebert who show up to my like mine or whatever to take a picture and then give me the middle finger by voting against the bill. I hate that sort of hypocrisy and I don't think there's nearly enough national attention on it. Well, we gave it attention last week, John, while you weren't here. We talked about this exact thing that she yeah. did exactly that. Yeah, that she posted this. She didn't even vote for the bill. Um, and I think 
the my issue is Joe Biden. Joe Biden did a little bit of this calling some Republicans out for yeah. the projects that he did, but he should have been more specific. Lauren, your district got you know this infrastructure infusion into like like redoing your waterways and making sure you know like whatever like all this very important stuff that you know the government needs to do and that's why government is important cuz like drinking water and stuff um but i think he should have gone harder like he should have memorized which project in which person's district it would have been funny and so good to score points like this otherwise it's just left up to us because yeah it's they don't care they're obstructionists they don't if if it's not again sending like machine guns to the border, then they yeah. don't want it. Yeah, yeah, they'd even vote against that right now. Yeah, yeah, I just, look, I understand the reason that this sort of hypocrisy works is because obviously not everybody can pay attention to every vote. And I totally understand that. If you are watching this now, especially if you're watching like the live stream, you're not like everybody else. We're tapped into politics on a daily basis in a way that most people aren't or can't be. But I wish there was a way, I wish there was a way that people could know or could learn to prioritize when they are so utterly lied to by these dishonest politicians. Unfortunately, that's a fight we're gonna have to continue to fight. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.